can't reach us from up here. Um, what was I just saying? <laughs> Send a nuke down here. There's a sh um, a witch call it over there. A spawner, but can't get to that from up here. Is there a spawner over there? Maybe there isn't. I thought I saw I saw the thingy for it. Yeah, I think there is. That's what that thing that has the zero on it. Alright, is there one over here then too? jump down that's nice there might have been a spawner back there I don't know Ooh, lots of bad guys coming through here Or not undead, but uh, shrouded. Shrouded bad bads. Looks like my skulls are over there mixing it up with them. That's fine with me. I'll just stand back here and pew pew. Speaking of skulls, that's actually what's supposed to be on my toolbar, not the light stuff. I want to keep those handy. Is there something back here? Did I nuke it? I don't know. Maybe these are just rooms that mobs were hiding in. Probably that's what it is. Goodness. We massacred these guys. loot these for all the shroud spores. Oh, there's more bad guys over there. Salvage. Delete. 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 I'm going to salvage that. Uh, light, yeah, let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of this. One of you guys were telling me in the comments that I should be using these bone channels on bosses. So we might try that at some point. And I think that's everything we want to get rid of. Okay, let's move. Goodness gracious, it's dark. Oh, 
Okay, I think this is the place where we gotta do a bunch of parkour stuff. I think, if we're there yet. Maybe. We'll see. Ooh, there's a red centurion guy. Okay, um, don't know what all is in store for us. So let's get a, at least a few of these guys out. This room. I remember this room. I don't want to mess with those red exploding bugs, but it looks like our skull buddies took care of them. Uh, this way. I know as we go up these, yeah, I was going to say, we're going to get little ambushes along the way. So probably our best bet for dealing with them assholes is just shield and wand. Always hit the wrong button and go to the wrong toolbar. That's it. Now, wasn't there supposed to be some button I was supposed to activate before we started climbing all the way up here? But I kept looking behind me and I didn't notice it. Um, and it's what gives us access to the recipe uh, for this this dungeon. Problem is, we're kind of starting to run out of shroud uh, protection here. So we sort of kind of got need to keep moving here. Maybe we maybe we haven't gotten to that spot yet. I don't I don't know. Oh good. Okay, so we got an opportunity to re uh, replenish our shroud. Um, thing. Oh, and this is a checkpoint, too. Right, okay, I remember that room. I have a feeling, though, like I might have missed that button. Um, and I would like to get the recipe. What it? I don't even remember what the recipe is. 
We got the we got the bone thrown from the Highlands Hollow Halls. Tell you what, I, I want to go... I want to go back down real quick just to see if I miss that. Because it's one of those things where if you don't get it on the way up, it's kind of too late to get it later. It's a button that you have to shoot with an arrow before you start going up this thing. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. Maybe we just... Maybe we haven't gotten to that part yet. I know that it's kind of up high, too. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we, we probably just haven't gotten that far yet. I'm almost positive it's not all the way back here. Yeah, because that's where we came down the stairs. Okay. Yeah, so we just... I'm pretty sure we just haven't gotten that far yet, so let's head on back to our checkpoint and then we'll proceed. Okay, I think we're ready to roll here. All right, we got to fly through here. Okay, so that place I was thinking about is actually in the next section where we have to do a bunch of vertical climbing. Um, we should probably try and deal with this guy. Well, that didn't uh, do a good job of doing that, and also, I need to put you down here. I think, if I remember right... He can attack us when we land down below, and we might, I think we might have some other enemies we're going to have to take out, too, when we get down there. All right, well, let's just go come what may. That's where the enemies are in there. Uh, I don't think the bird guy aggroed on us, so let's go. Keep looking for that thing. Oh shit! That was dirty. Oh shit! So here's where the birds attack. It's more startling than it was dangerous. We got a climbing wall here. What is that, a skelly? 
Oh shit. Ooh, there's a big spawner in there. my face you ugly thanks skull buddies I like skull buddies skull buddies are my friend Whew, okay we gotta get rid of this thing We accomplished that. close <laughs> almost missed that last one that would not have been fun not for me anyways that's the way up in case you do fall down Yep, I missed it. God damn it. I was looking for it too. We needed it to open that door there to get the recipe. I just don't remember where the hell that button was. <sighs> Tell you what I'm going to do. We're going to get this next checkpoint. And I'm going to go back again and look. If I can't find it, I'll just meet you guys back here and say I couldn't find it. And I'll just... I'll look it up later. If I do find it, then of course I'll bring you back at that point. And, um... We'll go from there. Really, there's hardly anything in this room to... Yeah, this is this is going to be the big flight room, I believe. Oh yeah, this is it. Okay. Yeah, so I'm going to cut the camera here, guys. Uh, go back down and see if I can um, find that. And if not, I'll meet you back here. If I don't find it, if I do find it, then I'll show you where it's at. Here it is. Here it is. Okay, so the last um, flight that we had to go down, uh, you know, to get down to this next level, you go into this room, and then you turn around, and it's right up there. Okay. That's where it is. All right, I'll see you guys back up at the checkpoint. We'll proceed. Um, let's put a campfire down and get as much rested as we can here uh, this is where we're also going to switch to uh, this chest piece for the 31 percent stamina depletion reduction and we're going to switch to the slower glider just so i can control things a little bit better 
it is also time to replenish our buffs. Uh, this one especially. In fact, you know what? Let's just do that one for now. In case I do bite the dust. Um, we're not wasting stuff. Uh, we could do this, but then it's gonna it's gonna take 30 minutes of a food buff away from us. Health stamina recharge. Intelligent shroud protection. It'd probably be worth taking this one. Because we would take that anyway. Um, and definitely want to take shr uh, shroud protection. Why did my health go down? Oh, because that the food buff just went off. Yeah, we probably better. We should take that too. In case we happen to to tap the um, you know the red muckety muck. If we have a larger health pool, we could have a better chance of surviving it. And the sugar lasts for five minutes. Yeah, let's take that too. Give us even more stamina recharge. Okay. Let's do this. So the last time I did this, I got lucky and I, I did it on the first attempt. Um, so let's see if we can do a repeat performance there. Here we go. Our, um, yeah, this is, uh, quite a bit better just because, well, not if I'm going to do that. Damn it. Okay. What I was trying to say was it's better because I have more, I have a little more time to react. It's not so fast. Oh, no, good. It stayed up here. Okay. See that the downside to perching on the um, on the coral to take a break is then if you die after that then your stash stays on the coral. All right, here we go. Let's do a little jump there. Oh, this is so much easier, though, in terms of, you know, having a little more re reaction time. God damn it. Okay. That wasn't a complete disaster. That was, though. <clears throat> okay, I gotta focus. I gotta focus here. We can't... We can't do that too many more times. We can't afford to lose all of our buffs. So focus, focus. I'm gonna stop talking and I'm just gonna get it done. Okay. Um, I gotta tell you guys, the combination of the slower glider and the hawk chest made that so much easier. So if you guys have those two pieces of equipment, and you probably do if you're doing this dungeon, highly recommend you bring those with you. I probably could have done that fine the first time, but I was blabbing and not really focusing, and yeah, so good. All right, let's put our regular stuff back on. I, I don't think we have any more um, long flights to do in the dungeon. I think we've finished all of them. Whew, okay. Now for the final test. We'll see how we do here. The thing about what's going to happen next, though, is there are places that we can... that I can get up away from the Bad Bads. 
so yeah um i don't know the th the only thing is, is i don't know if i can stay there indefinitely though so we'll have to just kind of see how things go uh, no not that but i can throw out skull buddies you know if i have a chance to uh, you know, like a little a reprieve from everything. Okay, so let's see. We have sugar, so let's let's take this and let's also take uh, this and this and uh, this. And so we just need to take the ecto soup once that sugar wears off. But let's go ahead and at least get kind of moving in this direction. All right, we got fly flyers. I'm just going to take this slow because um, I don't want to get into a serious fight until I, I can get my ecto soup again. Will that track? No. But what we can do also is we, we can actually come back to this spot here um, if, if we get into, into really, really bad trouble. And the sugar's just about gone. So let's head on over there. All right. So I think the place we can go and kind of cheese this a little bit is over there. Um... Are there sp are there spawners in here? So if we don't have to worry about spawners, that's going to be huge. All right, sugar wore off, so let's take our ecto soup. <sighs> okay, so yeah, I think I think we can get up over in that direction and up out of the way of the bad bads. But let's, if there's no spawners here, why don't we try and take out the guys that are there right at the moment? And again, very worst case scenario, we can run over here and fly back to that area if we need to. Okay, let's engage and see what happens here. So I think that boss there will come out first. My shit, my keyboard uh, button's kind of acted funky. Or does the one come out that you get close to first? I don't remember. Oh, no, they're coming out. Okay, so what I can do is get up here. Being a oh shit, are both bosses coming out? I guess so. All right, here's what I'm gonna do: bunch of skull buddies. 
Got to really be careful not to fall off of here. That's the problem with using the... Oh! Okay. get around the corner here okay you can't reach us from up here um what was i just saying <laughs> i guess you can reach us from up here okay um yeah i guess uh that's maybe not the best idea in the world <laughs> to do that i mean it's not a bad idea but we can't stay up there indefinitely um i was for some reason i was thinking he couldn't get to us up there but i was wrong i was absolutely wrong about that okay so let's take some of this some of this some of this some of this uh one of these and maybe what we will do is if we get the opportunity maybe we will try some of these bone shards on the boss and see how that does. We only have one more health food after this, so hopefully we can make this happen this time around. Let's do this. We got this. All right, so are those guys still out and about now? Yes, they are. All right, we uh, we put the herd on, on this guy over here. Uh, yep. I wonder if we could get his attention without getting the other guy's attention and just take him out first I don't know if I can get all the way over there let's see oh it looks like his health reset all right let's try these bone channels on him I was on his, uh, sitting on him. Ooh. Okay. That does do quite a bit of damage to him. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay. Let's, um... Let's come up here for a second and just put some distance because we got to get we got to get rid of the ads. I I can handle the boss pretty well, I think. It's just these other ads that make this so hard. Okay, get rid of him. Oh, that stun is so nice, I gotta say. Good. We got rid of this Centurion guy. Okay. Oh! Damn, I tried to blink. I tried to blink and I was like a half a millisecond too late. Fuck. 
Okay. Well, hopefully we just have to deal with him and the other one didn't repop either. Oh, man. Okay. So let's get healed up. Buffed up. This is our last um, meat wrap. Probably should have brought a few more, huh? It's too late for that now, though. Yeah, um, those bone shards, they were taking him down pretty damn fast. I'm a, I think I'm a believer. So thank you uh, to whoever left me that comment. How come I'm not getting more rested? Am I not close enough to this? There we go. Okay. Oh, wrong room. <laughs> Stamina back. Okay, good. It's just him. We're going to get some assistance here. Let's do this. You're out of mana. Time, you bastard. And he's down. Okay, we're not done yet. We've got a couple of uh, sickle scythes and other nasties to deal with here. Thank you, Skull Buddies. Okay, I think the rest is just trash. You know what I just realized? You guys have been face palming for the last half an hour. We went to all that trouble to go back to push that goddamn button and I forgot to get the recipe. I swear you can't take me anywhere. There's no way I can get back to it now. Um, all right, well, you know, what can you do, right? That was uh, definitely my mistake big time. Okay, so shot bow, salvage those. Uh, let's go get our stuff too from up there and... All right, well, other than my major blunder of not actually getting the recipe, um, 
I'd say this was a success all in all. Honestly, I had more trouble with the that first boss than I did with these two, but the problem with the first boss fight is that I mean, it throws you down into it and you're there and that and it's on, you know. There's like no really hardly any opportunity at all to um you know to to think <laughs> um so i would say it, from that standpoint that boss fight's almost more difficult than this one because this one you know you got two big bosses but you got more options here than you do in that first spot so yeah so we have a total of yeah we have a total of three cyclops heads nice okay Get rid of that just because we can, I guess. Oh, how the hell did you get down there? More importantly, can you get back up? I hope I can't break this grating. <laughs> Alright, he did. Oh, got a bad guy over there. He decided uh, he wanted to sit this one out, I guess. Is there nothing in here? I can't remember. Nope, there's a chest back there. <laughs> Silver shot bow. All right. Did we get, um, yeah, we got orbs. Okay. Those, uh, flying wraith things dropped the orbs. I want to make sure I loot the, looted those. There's some bugs over there. Where the hell did you guys come from? I don't know. Who cares? Let's just go. Screw them. This room's epic. Got another Sinister Crescent Staff. Okay. Let's do it. Yeah, I'm kind of kicking myself for not, <laughs> for not remembering to get the recipe. But, you know, this may not be the last time I'll run this. Um, I, I don't really care about the recipe so much as I just... More the, you know, the kind of, I guess, the bragging rights of getting it, if that makes sense. So, but it's also not anything I'm going to lose any sleep over either. So, all right, guys. Well, that is it. We have successfully completed the Kindle Waste Hollow Halls as a so, uh, solo player, as a mage, as a pure mage, not even with the Paladin health gear that everybody says I was supposed to be using. Um, granite. It, you know, if we did, if we would have had that on, maybe I wouldn't have died as much as I did. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Two of my deaths, though, were from falling in the red soup, and the paladin armor isn't going to do jack diddly for something like that anyway. And then, you know, most of the deaths were in the early early boss fight when I was just trying to figure out how to how to make it work, and then we finally figured it out. So. I can't complain. I'm. I, I think I'm. I'm pleased with how we did. I'm not 
ecstatic about how we did, but I'm pleased with how we did. <laughs> uh, do you have anything for us? No? Nothing, huh? Okay. Well, we can make the greater ectoplasm... Or no, we can make the excellent ectoplasm soup now. So if we do go back in there, we're going to have 15% damage and 10% life leech chance. But, you know, at the cost of 50 more health. So that's just yucca fruit and excellent ectoplasm. To make excellent ectoplasm... We just need all of that stuff. Okay, so those are shards, and what we have are crystals. And we have 185 of them. Nice. Okay. I think you can only get those from, from looting the mobs. I don't think you can mine the crystals themselves. So we might as well turn these into... Here, let's look at that again. Excellent. Ectoplasm. Oh, wow. That requires... That requires fabric. Hmm. That's sort of kind of expensive. Got lots of coal powder. Okay. Well, I don't know. I probably will not turn all of those then into the ectoplasm. Because that's pretty damned expensive. But we could certainly do um you know 10 or 20 of them anyways so let's see we need the fabric the coal powder was in there what else did we need besides that stuff let's just grab a stack of coal powder out of here so so even though it sh these all show red, this still allows you to, to make it. Interesting. I didn't think it would because normally this will show green if it can pull from the chest. Huh. Okay. Well, then let's, let's make two stacks of this for now. All right, cool. All right, guys. Well, um, that is going to wrap up this episode. And... Um, Moving forward, I'm um, I'm probably gonna slow slow down on this series. My plan for it is to keep it going, but not do a whole lot with it until the next big update comes out. I don't think I'm gonna start over brand new, fresh from a brand you know fr from a um a, a, a level one player because I've done that three times now. I've done it twice on single player and once on multiplayer. And so my plan moving forward is when they come out with a, a, the next big update, we're just going to use our existing max level characters. I've got an archer and I've got this guy. Not that that matters because you can, you know, you can respect and do any class you want on the same person, uh, the same character. But, you know, I do. Um, and, and so, yeah, I might do a couple small episodes here and there. We still have a lot of building, you know, to do on the house and on the property. And it is my intention to keep, to continue on with that, but um, I probably won't be doing a whole lot, like I said, until the next big update comes out, and then then the plan at that point will be to pick up from here and continue on. We'll probably just do it on this character, most likely, because of the fact that we've already, you know, started work on this place, and my other character built, you know, I built my own place from scratch on the other character, and so we would, if we went and used him, we would lose all the progress we've made here. So we'll probably just stick with this one. And I can always, like I said, respec him back as an archer if I wanted to. And I've got a chest full of archer gear, a chest full of mage gear, and a chest full of tank melee gear. Um, yeah, I do have at least one set of glue monarch boots. Okay, good. Um, you know, so we can do whatever we want in terms of classes. So basically what I'm saying is goodbye for now, but not not permanently and i may if i get the you know the itch do a couple of building episodes here and there or even just get on and you know do an episode where we go look for some of the more hidden roots you know just some random stuff there but it's not going to be a, a a daily thing 
moving forward again until the next big update comes out. That is the plan. Um, in the meantime, shameless plug time here. If you guys are interested at all, um, I have uh, started a satisfactory series with update eight because they're coming out with one O at some time this year. That's the plan. I don't think we have a date. So if you like satisfactory, um, you know, stop by and, and check out that series. I'm having a lot of fun with it. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, satisfactory is not just a factory building game. The, the world in that game is just amazing. It's one of the coolest worlds I've ever played in a video game. And there's lots of exploration. There's some combat because there's enemies. Um, and it's just gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. So, um, you know, I, I like to play it for those reasons, you know, every bit as much as the actual factory building part of it too. So it's more than just factory building, I guess is what I'm saying for those of you who don't know. So come over and check that out. I'm also doing Valheim now on a multiplayer server, and I'll probably give that more attention now that I'm slowing down on Enshrouded. And that's a, a lot more similar game, you know, to this than Satisfactory is. So stop by and, you know, check out the Valheim episodes if you want. And we're still doing some Planet Crafter too, uh, but that's kind of coming close, you know, getting close to the end uh, of its life too. Um, I, I have a few more episodes to do, um, and then we'll probably just focus on Satisfactory and Valheim for the time being. Okay, with that being said, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this series and this episode, and I'm looking forward very much to seeing you again when the next big Enshrouded update comes out. Until then, take it easy.